Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Tenran432, here today to talk about the upcoming Spider-Man movie, No Way Home. Specifically, I'm referring to a small detail that nobody else has seemed to notice in the new trailer. Two other Spider-Men have been heavily discussed up to this point. I believe that there is a third Spider-Man that has escaped internet conversation, and one that I believe will be featured in the film either through a small cameo or a major role. The Spider-Man I'm referring to is none other than the obscure fan favorite who played Spider-Man in multiple movies. Of course, I'm talking about Tom Holland, who I believe will return to reprise his rendition of the beloved Web Swinger. I must now present my evidence. Firstly, a Twitter post. Alongside the release of the film's second trailer was a post of a poster on Twitter from the official Spider-Man No Way Home Twitter account. While there is nothing too spectacular about the poster on its own other than terrible design overall, inconsistent lighting and cheap effects, sharp-eyed fans may notice that on the bottom of the screen, none other than Tom Holland has been said to be featured in the photo even though there is no other confirmation of which Spider-Man is within the suit. It seems to be a strong hint towards one of the youngest iterations of the hero making an appearance at some point in the film. My second evidence comes from the trailer itself. If you look very closely at approximately the 21 second mark, you can see in the foreground what I think appears to be an older version of Tom Holland. I'll play the clip. That was when you found out. Did you see it? I'll play it again. That was when you found out. This, I believe to be, is Tom Holland. As we all know, Tom Holland was only 14 years old during the filming of Civil War, and if the timeline in which he disappeared, spoiler alert for Infinity War, for five years following the snap, he should still be only 16 to 17 years old, which highly differs from this version, in which he appears to be approximately 25 years of age. Of course, this could be similar to the effect done in Captain America, the first Avenger, where the young Steve Rogers was made to look very small and scrawny than his real-world actor counterpart, Chris Evans. Another example of this is seen in the trailer for Thor Ragnarok, where Thor was seen with both of his eyes, when in the movie he only had one. Another example of the trailers being changed by CGI. We cannot be sure if this is really Tom Holland, but I believe, due to the audio clip in the background, that it must be. Ever since I got bit by that spider, I've only had one week where my life is... Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Spider-Man No Way Home is certainly one of the most anticipated films of next month, and I'm excited to find out if my theory was correct. Tom Holland is the best ever Spider-Man, and Toby sucks, and Andrew sucks even worse. If you like this video and want to see more content just like this, be sure to drop a like. Which Spider-Man do you want to see shown in the new Spider-Man? Certainly, the Japanese biker gang Spider-Man is also one of my favorites. Leave a comment down below. Until the next video guys, this is Theory Tracker 10 Ran 432. Thank you for watching.